I try and complete the number 1081, placing the entire painting under martial law. When Marcus declared martial law in 1973, he threw me away in jail along with a number of other people. Your father asked this, sabi, Brad, bakit mo naman ako kinukulong? Bakit mo naman ako linagay sa Fort Bonifacio? Ang tanong naman ng tatay ko sa'yo, Brad, kung ikaw nasa posisyon ko, hindi mo ba gagawin? Ayun, nagtawanan silang dalawa. And then he needed a heart bypass operation in 1980. And Marcos allowed him to leave the country. My source is Cardinal Singh. And the conclusion was if they operate on him, it would be fatal. He's no longer responding to medication. And he will have to be hooked up to the dialysis machine now more often. He's a man now, terminal, he knows he's going, that's the background that I'm coming in. I will try to hold out for a meeting with Marcos. I am almost confident that I can talk to him and, and tell him something. Precisely because he and Marcos were kind of equals. Akin, ang boses ni Cardinal Sin ay parang boses ng Diyos.
propaganda that was so rife in 1986 has been proven to be propaganda and nothing else. 25 years on and people power has taken on a bittersweet flavor for many Filipinos who feel not much has changed since they first reclaimed democracy. remains a country where power lies in the hands of a few rich families who bask in privilege and luxury. Meanwhile, almost half the population lives on less than two dollars a day.